If you look at a modern cell phone, they're actually pretty boring. They're just a slab of glass. In the beginning, none of that existed. You had to figure out how to do a keyboard, how to type stuff on it, how to talk to it. My name is Dave Chivette. I'm a systems engineer. I live in the Boston area, and I'm showing off my handheld computing collection. I started collecting handhelds with an eye toward preserving the sort of chain of events that's brought about the modern smartphone and the modern equipment, things that we take advantage of right now. Of my things, there's a couple that I really adore. I have a Apple Newton 2100. When I was but a young geek and starting some of my toy collecting. The Newton 2100 was the machine I really wanted. I always wanted to have a pocket computer that I could carry around that was a fully functional computer. The stylus let you tap on the screen to select things. So you could do some writing on it, whatever you need to do. People look at my collection and they'll see one of these sitting here. This is an Atari portfolio. It's an unremarkable little device, except for two important things. First, it was the first DOS-based handheld. The second thing is, if you ever saw a movie called Terminator 2, T2, and the kid hacks an ATM machine, he's using one of these. Easy money. I've been in the computing industry for a very long time, about 40, 45 years, starting out with my dad in the 70s. As the computing industry evolves and changes, a lot of the technology starts to fade away. So when I got old enough, I started to collect those things that I, that I remember from my youth. And when I was learning computers and learning basic skills and kind of enjoying that remembering something that you last used when you were 15 years old with your dad or with a friend or in your house. Going back and being able to re-experience that with my collection is a wonderful feeling and I really enjoy it. So when you're doing collecting, it can be incredibly rewarding, but take time away from your collection sometime to, to kind of gain perspective on it.